report. Well, let's take a look at your forecast right now with Alex Biston. We're going to have some big changes coming our way yet again. Big changes, yes. And I know, ladies, you were talking about how, you know, we go from one extreme to the next. It seems like at least we're going from heat to cooling things down to a little bit of rain and then heat is back. And, and yes, that is kind of what we are talking about as we head into uh, the next few days as heat is going to be the big story. We could break heat records too as we head uh, into Sunday and Monday. Let's start off your Saturday morning though. Today's a little bit more of a transition day. So temperatures start to warm up today, but you will really notice it as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures out toward Orange County, 40s and 50s to start off the day. Lots of 40s across the Inland Empire and whew, a chilly start up in the mountains. Big Bear City at 27 and 36 for our friends in Victorville. So wind wise, winds are shifting offshore and we've got offshore flow. High pressure, those two things combined are going to help warm up our temperatures as we head into the next few days. Before this morning, we've got a wind advisory in place across the mountains of uh, Los Angeles, Ventura, and Santa Barbara County through the I-5 corridor. So we're talking about gusty conditions at least through this morning. And winds will continue to push offshore as we head into the next few days. Let's head to Orange County where later this morning we are feeling temperatures into the 60s. And by this afternoon, 70s out there, even upper 70s from Santa Ana to Anaheim and the city of Orange to your Belinda at 77 this afternoon. So overall, a nice, comfortable day across Southern California and you know, the rain that we saw move through Thursday night into early Friday. Well, it's added to our uh, total and that's the good news. We're still below average, but we've seen over 12 inches of rain and normally we should be closer to 13 and a half. So we're just closing that gap. And of course, was that storm going to help eliminate the drought? The answer is no. Unfortunately, we need multiple storms. We need lots of water, um, but it doesn't look like we're going to get it as we head into the next seven days. At least the storm is moving out of here. We've got high pressure building offshore winds, and that is going to bring us a warm up as we head into the next few days, especially by tomorrow and Monday. That is when the peak heat is expected. We could even break some records. As we are talking about temperatures in the 90s on Monday, mid 80s at the coast. So that is what those offshore they warm up, uh, not just the valleys, but all the way out toward the beaches too. temperatures in the lower 90s uh, as we head into Monday into the valley spots. Temperatures start to cool off on Tuesday. We'll see more clouds and increase in onshore flow. So temperatures continue to cool off as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, dropping down to the upper 60s. So a little bit of a springtime roller coaster here as temperatures will uh, warm up as we head into the next few days, cool off as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. So nothing staying for too long here, but the heat will stick around at least for Sunday and Monday, starting to cool things off Tuesday, continued cooling as we head into the end of the week. Back to you. All right, Alex. Tonight's 48 hours exploring.